One of my favorite types of diamonds to find is an oval cut diamond because there are a lot of things you need to take into consideration when choosing a gorgeous one. And I recently had an interesting conversation on Facebook with regards to somebody asking about the face up size and how it looked on this particular ring. So I'm gonna talk about why this diamond looks so much bigger. All right, keep watching. Hey, this is Vanessa from Vanessa Nicole, where I create custom diamond rings for clients all over the world. And today I'm gonna to talk about this particular ring that I took some photos of and I posted on Facebook. And a lot of clients find me through Facebook and YouTube and all the different channels. And so this particular ring was getting some chatter because the diamond looks so big. So Barbara, she made a comment asking if it was a two carat. And my client whose ring it was said, nope, it's less than two. And so I responded to her and because I'm recording this with my phone, I'm just gonna, I printed it out so I could just read what I wrote to her. So I wrote, hi Barbara, this diamond is actually a 1.56 carat. It faces up huge because when I look for diamonds, I source ones that are cut to maximize face up size rather than simply hitting a certain uh, carat weight. So a lot of diamond cutters will cut diamonds deep just so they can hit a benchmark carat size because then the price goes up, which is really frustrating. So this makes it hard for clients to find a great oval cut on their own since a cut grade is not on the GIA report for any other shape other than a round diamond. So that's a key point to consider if you're looking at diamonds that are not round shaped. I specifically source diamonds that are cut beautifully to maximize sparkle and maximize face up size. And this is the result. To which my client replied, this ring is everything I could have ever dreamed of with a couple of emojis. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for making my and Alex's vision come to life. You're welcome, Emily. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's just something I want to cons uh, talk to you about because when you're considering an oval cut, there are key things that you have to look for so that it's not just, you're not paying for the weight of hitting a certain carat weight, whether it's one, two, three, four, whatever your carat size is gonna be, you don't just wanna be paying for weight, you wanna be paying for the size that you see visually face up on that top view, right? So you have to take into consideration the bow tie effect, which I've talked about in a couple other videos. So that's one thing that I always take into careful consideration of when choosing ovals, but also how thick is that girdle? How deep is that diamond cut? Are you just paying for weight or are you paying for face up size? And like I said, with round diamonds, you can look at the cut, grade, but with ovals, cushions, pears, all the other shapes, there's no official cut grade on that GIA report. So you really have to see the diamonds side by side in person or having somebody on your behalf like myself looking at them for you. So I create custom rings for clients all over the world. 70% of my clients are not local to San Diego and I have the custom process down pat. So if you're looking to create your own gorgeous ring, feel free to reach out to the studio and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.